this question, x to the 7 times x to the 17 divided by x to the 3rd power raised to the 4th power. So to do this one, we do numerator and denominator separately first. Well, we have x to the 7th power multiply x to the 17th power. Well, intuitively, we have 7x, 7 of the x, and 17 of the x. Together multiply, we'll get 24 of the x. And if you remember the formula, we have same base, so what we multiply, when we multiply, we just add the power together. Also, 24 power. And on the bottom, x to the third power raised to fourth power again. That's 3 of the x, called x to the third. And we also four. We have four, four of the uh, x to the third, x to the three, x to the three, x to the three times x to the three, 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 three repeats itself. We have twelve of them. And uh, of course, if you remember the formula, when we have exponent out another exponent, keep the base and multiply twelve. Now, we have x to the 24 divided by x to the 12th power. Division, we have same base. Keep the base and subtract 12. Subtract from 24. 24 minus 12 also, in other words, gives you 12. So intuitively, we have 24 of the x. We take out by dividing 12 of the x, left over 12 of the x. So that's why when we say when we're dividing, we need to subtract my power. x to the 12 is the final answer.